Good afternoon, lovely sound about people. Welcome to part three of our fairy tales session. I'll just wait for a few people to arrive. And as we do, you let me know that you can see and hear me all right in the comments. You can join in with anything you see. The sound of our live TV. You can join in with anything you see. The sound of our live TV. So come right in and have some fun. So good to see you all here back again. And we continue our fairy tale sessions. And we've got two brand new stories for you this week. But we'll start as always. Hello. How are you today? We got fairy tales and story songs to get you all singing along. Hello, how are you today? What have I got coming your way? We got fairy tales and story songs to get you all singing along. Oh, 
Tom. Hello, Tom. Thanks for coming today. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Rosie. Thanks for coming today. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Rosie. Thanks for coming today. Hello. Got fairy tales and story songs to get you all singing along. But first, we'll say big hello to every one of you. So let me know. Comment below. We'll all sing. Okay, so I've said hello to quite a few of you, we're going to go around one more time. If we haven't said hello to you yet, or you'd like us to say hello to you, or we've missed anybody out, now is your chance to let me know, we'll make sure to include it. Hello, how are you today? What have I got coming your way? Got fairy tales and story songs to help you all sing along. But first, we'll say a big hello to every one of you. So let me know, comment below, and we'll all sing. Oh, great stuff. It's so lovely to see so many of you here again and all the familiar faces. It's absolutely great. I'm back over here in, in the library, uh, darlings, uh, today as we continue with our fairy tales. And I'm going to uh, pull out the book I drew from last week, which is uh, Classic Fairy Stories. Um, as I said, this uh, book from uh, the 1988 edition here of Classic Fairy Stories, just aging myself, obviously. And uh, last week we uh, looked at Little Red Riding Hood and uh, we looked at Three Little Pigs. So today we're going to go for two different stories. And I think we're going to 
start with, I think it's in the oh yes, here it is. I think we're going to start with this one. Now let me show you a little picture and we'll see if you might know what this one is. This is the one we're going to start with today. See if you know this classic fairy tale. Please do join in. Let me know if you know which part of the story is coming up next at any point. And you might want for this one a bowl and a spoon or some soft, hard and just right materials. About a girl with golden hair. Here's a story about a girl with golden hair who snuck in a house belonging to three bears. Helped herself to things she didn't own before the bears came back. Right, James, the three bears. Here's a story about a girl with golden hair who snuck in a house belonging to three bears. Helped herself to the things she didn't own before the bears came back home. About a girl with golden hair Who snuck in a house belonging to three bears Helped herself to things she didn't own Before the bears came back home So when Goldilocks, that's right Jade, snuck inside the house Found on the table Three bowls of porridge. But she approached the big bowl first. Who knows what the big bowl was like? But when we have a think about that, you might want to get your bowl and you might want to stir your spoon around it. Or Make some sounds along with your bowl as well. The first bowl was large and tasted too hot. There was no way Goldilocks could eat the lot. That's right, and it was a big bowl. The first big bowl. It tasted very hot There was no way Goldilocks could eat the lot Let's make our bowls very hot They were hot, 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 hot Tapping on his bowl, think if this one's too hot, maybe we could all tap loudly and quickly. It was hot, 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 too hot. It was hot, 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 too hot. It was hot, 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 too hot. Big bowl, big bowl. Here's a story.
story about a girl with golden hair. It's snuck in a house belonging to three bears. Helped herself to things she didn't own. Before the bears came back home. Our Paul's making porridge in his bowl. Definitely too hot. Well, that's the first bowl, and I think someone's mentioned the mummy bear in a medium bowl. Let's hear about what Jade knows and Anna. The medium sized bowl was far too cold. She was definitely gonna abandon that bowl. The medium sized bowl was far too cold. There was no way Goldilocks wouldn't abandon that bowl. Rosie's tapping her spoon in her bowl, so maybe now with our cold bowl, our cold bowl, we could try tapping quietly compared to our loud pot bowl. Hi Jessica, welcome. The medium sized bowl was far too cold. She was definitely going to abandon that. One bowl that was too cold and one that was hot, 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 hot bowl, hot, 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 hot bowl, hot, 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 hot bowl, hot, 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 hot bowl. Hi Neo, great to see you. Hope you're well. We've had a hot bowl, we've had a cold bowl Here's a story about a girl with golden hair Who snuck in a house belonging to three bears Helped herself to things she didn't own Before the bears came back home So the first large bowl, Daddy's Bowl, is too hot Second medium sized bowl, it's too cold. The small bowl, the temperature was just right. She ate it all up until there was none left in sight. That's right, the baby bowl, Anna was right, just perfect. The small bowl, the temperature was just right. She ate it all up until there was none left inside. So if this one was just right, maybe we could get a rhythm going on your bowls. Tap, 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 tap it along on your empty bowl. Going tap, 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 tap on the empty bowl. 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 Going tap, 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 tap on the empty bowl. Going tap, 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 tap on the empty bowl. Tap, 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 tap 
on the empty bowl. Go in tap, 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 tap on the empty bowl. Here's a story about a girl with golden hair who snuck in a house belonging to three bears. Helped herself to things she didn't own before the bears came back home. But not content, not content with eating the porridge. Who knows what else Goldilocks did. Maybe when she snuck upstairs? Who knows what might what happened at that stage? Here's a story about a girl with golden hair Who snuck into a house belonging to three bears and Helped herself to things she didn't own Before the bears came back home That's right, Anna! She took herself upstairs to where the beds were and was trying out those beds. And Jade's absolutely bang on. Daddy's bed, the big bed, was too hard. So I wonder if you've got any materials at home that might be quite hard to touch. I've got these pieces of wood here, which are really hard and that when I bang together, you can see just how hard those pieces of wood are. The first big bed was far too hard to lie. So she gave up with that one and gave another bed a try. first big bed was far too hard to lie So she gave up on that to give another bed a try If you've got something hard to touch, here we go It was hard, hard So we've tried the big bed, which was too hard. So then Goldilocks goes to the medium bed. The medium bed was far too soft to sleep. She gave up on that and left the covers in a heap. So maybe you've got something really soft at home. I've got something really soft to touch here. Which I can show you. Which is this. This is the softest thing I could find in my house. And it's so soft to touch. So you might want to feel something soft with your fingers. You might want to feel something soft with your nose. You might want to feel something soft with your elbows or anything that you can. The medium bed was far too soft to sleep. So she gave up on that 
and let the covers in a heap. It was soft, soft, far too soft. It was soft, 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 far too soft. Soft, 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 far too soft. Soft, 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 far too soft. But the big one was hard, 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 far too Snuck into a house belonging to three bears Helped herself to things she didn't own Before the bears came back home and The small bed, that's right Jade As few of you will know, the small bed was just right The smallest bed was just right She promptly fell asleep, bidding us all good night. So maybe you've got something that just the right softness, just the right for you. I've got my favourite cushion here for mine, which is not too soft, not too hard, is just right. And I'm going to pop it behind myself here and get all comfy in, that's right. The smallest bed was just right She promptly fell asleep bidding us all good night Maybe this is the time for you to get nice and comfy now The third one was just, just right Got a girl with golden hair Who snuck in a house belonging to three bears Helped herself to things she didn't own Before the bears came back home So Goldilocks is asleep in the bed That's when the bears come in back home. The bears, the bears, the bears come in back home. The bears, the bears, the bears were coming back home. The bears, say daddy bear comes in first he says someone's been eating someone's been eating from my bowl and spoon someone's been eating someone
Someone's been eating from my bowl and spilled Someone's been eating Someone's been eating from my bowl and spoon Someone's been eating Someone's been eating from my bowl and spoon And Mummy Bear says Someone's been eating from my bowl and spoon Someone's been eating from my bowl and spoon Someone's been eating from my bowl and spoon Then Baby Bear says Eating all my porridge all up. Someone's been eating from me bowl and spoon, and they've eaten my porridge all up. Someone's been eating from my bowl and spoon, and they've eaten my porridge all up. Someone's been eating from my bowl and spoon, and they've eaten my porridge all up. You want, to be, you want to be making loud noises with your bowl and spoon of the bears arriving. You might want to take the hard materials of the bed that you found and make the big sounds of the bears arriving. Because once they've seen the bean from the bowl and spoon, they go upstairs. And what do we think they say up there? Daddy Bear says Someone's been sleeping in my bed 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 What does Mummy Bear say? Mummy Bear says Oh, someone's been sleeping in my bed Someone's been sleeping in my bed Someone's been sleeping in my bed Someone's been sleeping in my eye Baby Bear goes to check their bed as well. And what does Baby Bear find, you think? Someone's been sleeping in my bed. 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 You're right, Jade. Hope you managed to make lots of nice banging sounds, lots of nice sounds of the bears coming home there. That was a story about a girl with golden hair Who snuck into a house belonging to three bears Helped herself to things she didn't own Before the bears came back home 
That was a story about a girl with golden hair Who's stuck in a house belonging to three bears Helped herself to things she didn't own Before the bears came back home And that is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I hope you tap, tap, tapped your ball. I hope you had something hard or equally something lovely and soft to touch. All right, well, I think we've got time for one more story today. One more fairy tale. And I think, let's, let's consult the book. Let's consult the book again. I think we're going to go for... Uh, let me see if I can find it in here. We're going to go for a different one again. We're going to go for... Oh yeah, there it is. We're going to go for... This one. This is the one that we're going for next. See if it's one that you know. And maybe if you've got some toy ducks or anything that could make a lovely duck sound or be little ducklings, this is the time to get those out. This is a nice counting song. We might be able to do some counting down in this one. Here's about five ducks. That's, that part's right, Anna. One mother duck, five little eggs. One mother duck, five little eggs. Eggs. One egg hatches, a duck comes out. Beautiful mother, a beautiful thing the mother does shout. One mother duck, one duckling, and four little eggs. One mother duck, one duckling, and four little eggs. One mother duck, one duckling. And four little eggs One egg catches, a duck comes out A beautiful thing the mother does shout One mother duck, two ducklings And three little eggs So that's one mother duck, two ducklings now And three eggs left One mother duck, two ducklings, and three little eggs. One mother duck, two ducklings, and three little eggs. One egg catches, a duck comes out, a beautiful thing the mother does shout. One mother duck, three ducklings, and two little eggs. One mother duck, three ducklings, and two little eggs. One mother duck, three ducklings, and two little eggs. One egg hatches, a duck comes out, a beautiful thing the mother does shout. One mother duck, four ducklings, and one little egg. Well, actually, it's one mother duck, four ducklings, and one big egg. One mother duck, four ducklings, and one big egg. One egg hatches a, a duck. Maybe it's a duck comes out that's not one of mine the mother does shout one mother duck four ducklings and one different chick one 
we're going to do that counting down again. So we start with one mother duck and five eggs. Let's see if you can do the counting along. One mother duck and five eggs. One mother duck, five little eggs. Then one egg hatches, a duck comes out, a beautiful thing the mother does shout. So one mother duck, one duckling, and four little eggs. One mother duck, one duckling, and four little eggs. One mother duck, one duckling, and four little eggs. Then one egg hatches, a duck comes out, a beautiful thing the mother does shout. One mother took two ducklings and three little eggs. One mother duck, two ducklings and three little eggs. One mother duck, two ducklings, and three little eggs. Then one egg hatches, a duck comes out, a beautiful thing the mother does shout. One mother duck, three ducklings, and two little eggs. One mother duck, three ducklings, and two little eggs. One mother duck, three ducklings, and two little eggs. Then one egg hatches, a duck comes out, a beautiful thing the mother does shout. One mother duck, four ducklings, and one big egg. One mother duck, four ducklings, and one big egg. One mother duck, four ducklings, and one big egg. One egg hatches, a, a duck comes out. That's not one of mine, the mother does shout. One mother duck, four ducklings, and one other chick. So you might have some little ducks that you can have with you now. And as we draw towards the end of this session, we'll tell the story of that duck that's a bit different. As the babies grow, one is different and it starts to show. The other ducks say some horrible things and hurt the different ducks feelings as the babies start to grow one is different and it starts to show the other ducks say some horrible things and hurt the different ducks feelings But it's okay to be different It's okay not to conform Because despite what the other ducks say There really is no norm But it's okay to be different It's okay not to conform because despite what the other ducks say There really is no norm And it's okay to be different It's okay not to conform Because despite what the other ducks say really is no norm Then one day the different duck was swimming on his own He saw a flock of swans 
some yet not fully grown They look just like me, he thought I am one of them They're just like me, he thought I am one of them They're just like me, they thought I am one of them They're just like me, they thought I am one of them So even though they were different That he thought it all gone wrong He thought for him it had all gone wrong Even though he was different And thought for him it had all gone wrong Turns out he wasn't an ugly duckling But really A beautiful swan For her it had all gone wrong Turns out she wasn't an ugly duckling But really a beautiful swan Well, that brings us towards the end of today's session. Thank you so much for joining us today for the third part of the fairy tales and for listening to quite a lot of story based stuff today but great to go through Goldilocks and the Three Bears with you and different duck so thanks Jade thanks Cody and obviously thanks Sue Steve and Louise and everyone else has come today Georgie will be back on Saturday but it's a pre-recorded version it's coming to you on Saturday so if you'd like to get a special mention make sure you leave a message on the sound about page by Thursday Thanks Jessica, thanks Alex. We'll just finish with this little thing because I think it's important to always remember. It's okay to be different It's okay not to conform Because despite what the other ducks say there really is no it's okay 
to be different It's okay not to conform Despite what the other ducks say There really is no norm Thanks very much, everyone. See you soon.